Yep. Okay. When you first started developing this show, did you think it would become one of the biggest LGBTQ tours to date? No, I thought it would just be the same old, like, you know, hoochie coochie porno carnival kind of thing, but it really has touched a lot of people in their hearts. It's amazing. It never at any point in time really felt like it was going to be as big as it became, um, which I think is kind of its charm and part of the fun of all of it. I felt that this show was very special and hilarious. I believe in Katya Kelly, all of the dancers, everyone here, and so I've had unflinching confidence in its financial and artistic success since day one. Music and fashion were always the passion at the core. It's got everything. It's got car chases, cannibals, neck braces, um, cankles, um, it's got thrills, chills, spills. It's truly meant to just make people happy and confuse those who don't get it. Being in a space where the minority is straight and cis people is so amazing. <laughs> It's super crazy. It's not something that everyone gets to experience, and I don't think many people will experience this ever again. But yeah, it's super awesome. Did you get that on film? <laughs> Being in the meet and greet every day is so fulfilling. I get to see everyone have their moment with the girls, and it's like here's the first time that they're meeting this person that some of them don't even believe they're real. Like they round the corner and they see them like, oh my god, they're real. Or like, and then they come back and they say, I think I just blacked out. Like it's, <laughs> the experience for them is so amazing and it's so fulfilling for me to watch these kids have those moments. You shit bitch, suck a dick for a sandwich, you shit bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you suck a dick for a Sammy <laughs> Well, you know, touring really tests your mental uh, integrity, your mental endurance. And so there's moments where like between Kelly or Katya and I, we can just look at each other and communicate like, you know, 1300 pages of text just with like a look of like. Oh, hi. I've had the fortune of being on the bus with the dancers for most legs. So the dancers are a hoot. I mean, I have four basically supermodels who even though they're six, five and all muscle, they get drunk off a thimble of alcohol and they all start voguing and screaming. I mean, it's, it's like endless entertainment. It's been, you know, like, you know, are you familiar with waterboarding? <sighs> staying humble, staying grateful, staying present, staying um, cognizant of the fact that I get paid an unreasonable amount of money to do the thing that only I can do, which is be myself. A luxury, a privilege that is afforded to very few people once in a lifetime. That being said, I have a preternatural ability to turn any situation into absolute suffering. I have to hate you, love you. <laughs> but you know, it, it, I mean, it's just having to like check myself. Like, oh, oh, you're complaining about what exactly? That you get to go um, interact with people for an hour who tell you that they love you, that you're their favorite person in the world, and then go out to raucous applause and, and like unconditional love and you know what I mean? It's like, what are you doing? We're not hauling bricks down at the quarry. You know, people are getting sentimental because the tour is ending, but I feel like it's this like big meal we all had together, and now we're all full and satisfied, and we're not hungry anymore, and we can move on.